Welcome to my channel. My name is Natalia. This is Crafting with Natalia. And, um, well, if you've just watched my previous video, this is the first video I'm uploading about a specific project. So I'm switching, at least for the time being, to these um, shorter videos where I'll be telling you about one project um, that either I've already finished or I'm working on. Or I don't know, maybe I'm starting it or whatever it is. Um, so one project per video, so it will be a shorter video and I will try to give you as much information as possible about this project. And today, uh, specifically, I'll be talking about the diamond painting project that I've just finished. Uh, so the diamond painting I just finished is called Twisted Blossom. And it's a design by a company called Dreamer Designs. Uh, so I'm sure if you're a diamond painter, you're well familiar with Dreamer Designs. Um, it is quite a popular company. Um, they've got lots of lovely designs and they've got very good quality diamond paintings. And um, yeah, I, I personally really like um, Dreamer Designs. Uh, I've had very good experience with them. I know that some other people may have more mixed reviews of them, um, but personally I don't really have much negative things to say about them. Um, and I will insert a picture here from their website of um, the artwork that this painting is based on. Uh, so the artwork was painted originally by Anne-Marie Boy? Boy? Let's see. I should say it here. Anne-Marie Bon. <laughs> Sorry, Anne-Marie Bon. So here you've got, you've got a title of the painting twisted blossom um uh, the so all the artwork um all the diamond paintings that you buy on dreamer designs are legally licensed from the artist so um the artist is getting uh paid for their work um which is something that i um, definitely stand for um i try to avoid buying um either cross stitch or diamond paintings that use stolen artwork as much as possible um, and you can see here it says that the design size, so, so the actual painting size is 30, sorry, 60 by 60 centimeters. The reason why I just kind of, um, my tongue just slipped to 30 is because on my mind I am trying to remember that I wanted to tell you that Dreamer Designs actually has on their website two different versions of this painting. Um, and one is this one, uh, which is 60 by 60. And another one and they also have a smaller design which is 30 by 30 centimeters so if you're either a beginner diamond painter or someone that doesn't have a lot of time to diamond paint uh, which is actually me but <laughs> but i still like the big ones um or maybe you just don't like working on very big projects uh you have the alternative option which is also a cheaper option uh, of um buying the 30 by 30 version of this painting I will actually put here on the screen the rendering uh, that is also published on the Dreamer Designs website for both the 60 by 60 and the 30 by 30 diamond painting. So you can see comparison of um, how the image looks um, when it's uh, rendered for these two different sizes. So you will see that there's a drop in the resolution when you're buying a smaller diamond painting. Um, of course, um, you know there'll be less diamonds on it so it's kind of like on the picture you'll have less pixels uh so it'll be more pixelated um it'll be the resolution will drop uh, when you get go for a smaller size um so that's kind of that's the reason why i prefer the larger diamond paintings because you just get a better resolution image um but if you'd rather work on a smaller painting uh, then definitely you have that other option as an alternative uh, and i will link both of these in the description below so that you can have on the website if you can have a look on their website yourself i actually bought this painting a very long time ago <laughs> so it was over two years ago now or something and i started it i think in 2021 and then it was lying um lying somewhere hidden away for a very long time and i didn't work on it for a very long time and then eventually i picked it up at some point at the start of this year i think and um and then i it was lying on my table for a very long time and occasionally i put a few drills here and there and but really yeah it, i only finished it now so it took me like two years to finish it which is really embarrassing but anyway it's done it's done and luckily because with a lot of diamond paintings the companies actually um you know they um they discontinue them uh, over time but this one actually is still available so if you like it you can still buy it uh, from dreamer designs okay so anyway now the big reveal this is 
<laughs> this is it. I have to lean back quite a lot because it's very big. So I'm trying to fit it in the frame. <laughs> yeah, it's a biggie. It's a biggie. Um, I will definitely record some sort of, um, I don't know, um, <laughs> a close up with my back camera so that I can actually show you the different bits of painting. Right now, I will just try my best to, to show you what I can. Uh, but um, yeah, the, the other when I record the other video, I will try and then kind of play it in the background so you can have a look as I talk. Um, what should I say? How many colors? Um, we had 55 colors. You can see the color legend on here. It's a long color legend. Very long. 55 colors, of which most of them were either pink or purple. Um, there was two different uh, AB drills as well. So these ABs that have a special shiny um, rainbowy coating on top. And um, one of them was yellow. Um, I'm trying to see where they are. They're kind of in the middle. Very hard to show but they're here on the water and the sky um again when i go with my back camera it may be easier to see them but you can see some of these white ones are like here and the yellow ones are next to them i can't really show you but <laughs> they're like in the middle here and they sparkle a lot so in the light you see these drills, they, they have a lot of sparkle on them. I don't think camera gives it justice, really, how sparkly this painting is. But right there, right here in the middle is where most of the ABs are. Uh, but it's a lot of white ABs. Um, so it's a very sparkly painting. It's got a huge amount of confetti here where the tree is. So confetti are these areas where you've got lots of different colors in a small small space so you have to change your colors a lot um, so there's not much blocks of one color in this area uh, however if you move down to where the where the lake is um, and the sky over here <laughs> I don't know how much you can hear me where, where I'm, when I'm behind this big painting but anyway that's fine <laughs> I'll just raise the volume <laughs> um, but yes, on the lake and the sky, you have big patches of single color, which speeds up the process because the tree took me forever because it's so confetti heavy. But then you've got lots of blocks of colors, like smaller blocks of colors here. Uh, so definitely this part goes much quicker than the tree and the lake as well. The, the lake wasn't too bad. Um, yes, it's mostly pinks and purples. Um, what else should I say? Um, the drills were very good quality. I had very few issues with the drills. Um, there was quite a few like misshaped drills or like, um, I actually have like a little bottle, I'll show you. So I used this set of containers, um, for, to store my drills. There was a lot of colors. Um, so they just, just fit in this one. This is a large, large box with many containers. By the way, if you're a cross stitcher and you want to store your drills, these containers are, uh, sorry, store your beads if for cross stitch. Um, these containers are perfect for storing beads as well. So you can use a case like that um, for diamond painting drills uh, to store cross stitch beads as well. Um, I started doing that recently and I think it's great. It's fantastic. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> yes, yeah, so, yes, the two ABs, I can show you, these are the yellow ABs, so they have this special coating on them, like the rainbowy kind of coating. It's kind of like cranic in the cross-stitch world, if you're a cross-stitcher. You know that I love metallic sparkly threads, I love AB drills as well, because they're super sparkly and they have this rainbowy shine about them. Mm. But what I was going to show you is this. I keep all my drills that I can't use. Uh, it's like the, the misshapen diamonds or diamonds that are of the wrong color. Or, um, yeah, anything odd. I generally keep them here in like a little spare container that I have. And you can see this is how many I had for this painting that I couldn't use. So, I mean, for, for a painting of this size, I don't think this is a lot, to be honest. You can see they're like weirdly shaped kind of bits of plastic and whatnot. Uh, but it wasn't a lot. Um, the only issue I had with some of the diamonds was that they were stuck together. 
but you can separate them if you put one tray on top of another you can separate them um i mean i'm not very good at that but um it was just a couple of colors that had that issue and it wasn't like a huge amount so you know i just separated the ones that i needed um but that was fine um yeah i didn't run out of any colors which is great um and i don't know what else to tell you i think this is pretty much it um did i enjoy this painting yes i did i very much this is actually one of my favorite diamond paintings i'm thinking i will i mean it is a very big painting uh, so it needs a very big frame but i am very tempted to frame it because see at the back here i have um i have another diamond painting this is from diamond art club uh, that i framed a couple years ago and i love it i love seeing it on my wall and i think this one would also look fantastic on one of the walls so i have these bits like this this painting here is from my landlord and i don't really like it it's just like london whatever poster i don't know why uh but i i don't it's not mine and i don't particularly like it and i have another one on another wall and i could um there used to be one there but i replaced it with a diamond painting and i think i may do the same I'm, i may frame this one uh, get a similar frame to that one and basically put it on instead of one of these two posters that I don't really like that very much so anyway so that's kind of the idea um but I may I may buy a frame um that frame actually wasn't that expensive because I just got one from eBay um the nice thing about some of these diamond paintings like this one it's got very even dimensions so you may be able to get a cheap frame for the ones that have nice and even dimensions like 50 by 70 or 60 by 60 you may be able to get a cheap frame from like eBay um or some other seller um somewhere so so i may just do that i don't know we'll see we'll see if i frame it i will show you on another video and just so you can have a look what it looks like um but yeah i think this is it if you have any questions about this project um or about i don't know anything diamond painting i'm not a diamond painting expert i i don't do that much diamond painting anymore and i'm really out of the loop but um i can tell you about the ones that i work on and um if you find it helpful, that's great. And if not, <laughs> then I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, I think this is it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're not subscribing yet, uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And also the little bell that will notify you whenever I post a new video. Um, yeah, and I don't know what else to say really. So I wish you a very good day or a very good night. Uh, happy crafting, happy diamond painting, stitching or whatever other craft you may be doing. And I hope to see you in my next video. Um, yeah, <laughs> bye bye.